send my messenger who will prepare the way before me. Then suddenly the Lord you are seeking will come to his temple. The messenger of the covenant whom you desire will come, says the Lord Almighty. Joy to the world. Isaiah chapter 7 verse 14 therefore the Lord himself will give you a sign the virgin will conceive and give birth to a son and will call him Emmanuel chapter 40, verse 9. You who bring good news to Zion, go up on a high mountain. You, you who bring good news to Jerusalem, lift up your voice with a shout. Lift it up. Do not be afraid. Say to the towns of Judah, here is your God. While by the sheep we watched at night, glad tidings brought an angel bright. How great our joy, great our joy, 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 joy. Praise we the Lord in heaven on high. Praise we the Lord in heaven high. walking in darkness have seen a great light on those living in the land of deep darkness a light has dawned Isaiah 9 2 it came upon the midnight clear that glorious song of old from angels bending to touch their harps of gold. Peace on the earth, goodwill to men from hands of gracious King. The world in solemn stillness lay to hear the angels sing. Reading from Luke chapter 2, verses 1 through 4. 
In those days, Caesar Augustus issued a decree that a census should be taken of the entire Roman world. This was the first census that took place while Quirinius was governor of Syria. So everyone went to their own town to register. So Joseph also went up from the town of Nazareth in Galilee to Judea to Bethlehem, the town of David, because he belonged to the house and line of David. Chapter 2, verses 5 through 7. He went there to register with Mary, who was pledged to be married to him and was expecting a child. While they were there, the time came for the baby to be born. She gave birth to her firstborn, a son. She wrapped him in cloths and placed him in a manger, because there was no guest room available for them. To us a child is born, to us a son is given, and the government will be on his shoulders, and he will be called Wonderful Counselor, Mighty God, Everlasting Father, Prince of Peace. <laughs> shepherds living out in the fields nearby, keeping watch over their flocks at night. An angel of the Lord appeared to them, and the glory of the Lord shone around them, and they were terrified. But the angel said to them, Do not be afraid. I bring you good news that will cause great joy for all the people. Today, in the town of David, a Savior has been born to you. He is the Messiah, the Lord. And this is from Luke. Chapter 2, verses 8 through 11. Chapter 2, verses 12 through 14. This will be a sign to you. 
you will find a baby wrapped in cloths and lying in a manger. Suddenly a great company of heavy, heavenly hosts appeared with an angel praising God and saying, Glory to God in the highest heaven, and on earth peace to those on whom his favor rests. Jesus was born in Bethlehem in Judea during the time of King Herod. Magi from the east came to Jerusalem and asked, Where is the one who has been born King of the Jews? We saw his star when it rose and have come to worship him. At Christmas time, as you know, children often think about the presents that they're about to receive at Christmas time. Parents and grandparents, on the other hand, may remember with great joy what it was like to be a kid, but now the joy has kind of shifted, at least I think, now that I'm a grandfather, to giving the gifts to those grandchildren and seeing their reactions. It's great fun to be able to be a part of that. I thought a bit about recalling what it was like for me as a, as a child. And at Christmas time, I don't know about you, but it was sort of a tradition at our home that my older sister and I would get the Sears catalog. Do you remember the Sears catalog? And we'd kind of dog ear things that we thought, maybe Santa would bring this. We also um, would enjoy laying on our backs under the Christmas tree and look up into the lights and the ornaments and the tinsel and just sort of see it all, you know, lights flashing and, and, and the like. It's a great joy to be able to do that. Now, later on, my sister, my older sister, taught me how to secretly pull the tape off of a piece of uh, a present and look on the inside to see what was in there. That was the bad aspect of my older sister, I guess. But, uh, um, and so we did that, and we, we put it back very nicely, and then it was just our little secret that we had done that. But, you know, I soon learned that on Christmas Day, that took a lot of the joy out of it because I'd already known what was in that particular passage. So that was the only year that I ever did that. So... Um, funny how memories of Christmases before sort of stick with us. The biblical story tells us that on Christmas an angel was bringing very big news. Glad tidings of great joy for all people that today in the city of David a savior has been born to you and he is the Messiah. 
The Christmas story tells us of the shepherds. Upon hearing that news, that they being in the midst, and then being in the midst of a great multitude of the heavenly host, who proclaim glory to God in the highest, and on earth peace and goodwill to all mankind. The story goes on to tell us of wise men or magi who sought out the baby from the east and came following the brightest star in the sky to see where the baby was so that they could present gifts to honor the newborn king. Well, as much as I like the song, the biblical Christmas story does not tell the story of a little drummer boy. You recall the song where the boy wonders what he can give to the, to the baby and decides that he can play his drums for the child. It's a tender and touching story, I think, maybe because I grew up as a percussionist. But I just don't, just don't dwell on that story too much to think what the mother and father might have thought about a drum solo for an infant baby. Probably not such a good idea. But let's look for a moment at the text of one of the most beloved songs of Christmas. Oh, little town of Bethlehem. We sang the first stanza just a moment ago. But I want us to think about the third stanza for a moment. How silently, how silently the wondrous gift is given. So God imparts to human hearts the blessings of his heaven. No ear may hear his coming, but in this world of sin, where meek souls will receive him still, the dear Christ enters in. Yes, the angel proclaimed. Then there was a multitude of angels that was such a shock to the shepherds that they were terrified, as we heard about this morning. The shepherds were moved to go and find the Christ child and worship themselves. And then the wise men were compelled to come from far away. Christ coming to earth in the form of man as an infant was God's gift to his creation. Knowing that we were in a predicament. That sin had entered the world and we were all sinners. Yet he cared for his creation so much and recognize that we had strayed so far that he sent his son as the gift for all mankind. For those of you here this morning, you heard the choir sing a song called The Jesus Gift. It spoke of considering whether to bring gifts of emeralds, gold, or diamonds, gifts of great monetary value. And at the climactic moment in that poem, it reads as follows. Simplest of gifts, gentlest of hearts, kindness he'll use as he leads, so give him these gifts, hand him your heart. As we reflect on this Christmas time, I would suggest that that is the gift that is most appropriate for us to bring to the Christ child. The gift from God above to his own creation we can respond by providing the gift of our hearts to him and our commitment. He is Jesus, Son of God, the greatest gift of all. We'll sing now the first Noel and we'll sing the first and last stanzas.
going to have time now the time of candle lighting. So I'll remind you that as the person comes with to you with their candle held upright, you would tip yours over to light yours from that and then turn to help your neighbor light theirs as well. Okay, let me invite you to stand now as we sing Silent Night.
as we prepare to leave the place this evening, may we all be filled with the wonder of Mary, with the, the obedience of Joseph, the joy of the angels, the eagerness of the shepherds, the determination of the magi, and the peace of the Christ child. May God, the Father, Son, and Holy Spirit bless you throughout this season and all of your days. Merry Christmas and good night. <laughs>